Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at how we can correct foot contact with the floor. So no matter what, for AI motion or most mocap systems, you're usually going to get problems on foot to ground relation, the foot not solid and you know it doesn't connect with the floor properly. So we're just going to look at how we can actually correct that using the foot and hand contact along with the edit motion layer just to do a few tweaks and get that perfectly. So if we come over to our scene here, we can see our character's feet, they're not really connecting with the ground. And we can go to, you know, a few frames ahead in the timeline and you can just see, you know, we're not getting a nice, you know, foot contact with the floor. And it just doesn't look very pleasing to watch when you look at it. So what we want to first do is we actually want to enable the foot contact. And we can do that in our modify tab up here, just turn that on. And that's going to ensure the feet connect with the floor when they meet the ground. And, you know, already looks, you know, a bit better, but we can still see there's a little bit of work that we need to do. Uh, the feet still tiptoe a little bit when the character walks. So we just want to adjust that and correct that a little bit. And we can actually do this very simply by using our edit motion layer. We can use that to fix the foot contact and, you know, just kind of use the gizmos to adjust that and position it a little bit more. Uh, we can use the FK mode to drag down the hips and that will then position the feet a little bit more closer to the ground. And, you know, if we change the height, you can see the problem gets solved almost instantly. And from there, we can just do little kind of tweaks and get that refined just by, you know, positioning the feet a little bit more. And we'll create a new anim animation layer to do that. And if we check the before and after, you can see, you know, we've got some really, really good results, uh, much better foot contact with the floor. And it just looks a lot more realistic and a lot more pleasing to watch when your audience watches it. So, you know, really, really simple to do just by using the edit motion layer and turning on the foot contact. Now in this next scene, we can see the character falls from a wall. So what we're gonna effectively do is we want the body to contact the ground. So we can turn on hand contact and that will ensure the hands contact with the floor. And then we can just raise the body up, turning off the FK mode and just making some little adjustments in the FK mode. And we can see already, you know, we're getting a little bit better results. We're just adjusting and tweaking the values in the FK mode just to kind of bring the character above ground. Mm -hmm. And, you know, using these rotation gizmos and position gizmos just to tweak, tweak the hands, tweak the arms, and you can see with the hand contact turned on, we can't push the hand through the ground. So we're just going to find the right position to let that set. And then you can see, you know, really looks a lot more interesting. The character reacts with the floor and, you know, very simple process to do just by enabling foot contact and hand contact and then using our FK mode just to make little adjustments. And now we can just go back into our FK edit motion layer and just, you know, make further adjustments that we see fit. Uh, it's just, you know, little adjustments on the hands, just making sure that they come up above ground level and look like they're reacting off the floor. We'll do the same thing here for the foot and, you know, just adjust it at the point where it goes through the floor by turning on the foot contact. And we can see now it won't go through the floor and we can just position that in the right place until we're happy with it. But it's very, very simple to do. All we're doing is, like I say, using the edit motion layer just to adjust the positioning of the different body parts. And we're using the FK mode just so it doesn't interfere too much with the animation data. And, you know, we're really getting some awesome, awesome results, as you can see here. And we're just going to do the same here for the leg. We're just going to bring it down at different points in the timeline just to get that kind of nice motion where the leg lands and hits the floor. And if we check the before and after, you can see how far we've come. And, you know, really, really that easy and simple to do. So I really hope that helps. And I really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.